Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we will learn how to install two different operating systems on two physical drives connected to a computer or laptop. And if your D drive contains important data, I will show you how to install a second operating system on the data drive and not lose the personal files that are on this drive. I open File Explorer, then this PC. And here we see two physical drives, Drive C and Drive D. Windows 11 is installed on my local Drive C. Drive D, this is a separate physical drive, this is where I store my personal files and it is on disk D I will install the second operating system Windows 10. You can also use this guide to repeat my steps from the video and install some other operating system, for example, Ubuntu, Windows 11, and so on. Please follow me step by step and you will succeed. Please note that for the correct installation of the second operating system, both of your disks must have the same partition style, if disk C has a GPT partition style, then the second disk must also be GPT. And if disk C has an MBR partition style, then the second disk must also be MBR. And so, before starting the process, we need to find out the partition style of drive C and drive D. For this you need to right click on the start button, then select, disk management. In this window, you need to right click on the C drive, and select, properties. Then open the tab, volumes. And here we can see that the partition style of my C drive, is GPT. Now I'll right click on drive D. Select properties again. Open the tab, volumes. And here we see that my second drive is the same GPT as drive C. But if your C drive is GPT style, and the second drive is MBR, then you need to convert the second drive to GPT. And if your C drive has an MBR partition style, then you should convert the second disk to MBR, that is, for the correct installation of the second operating system, both of your disks must have the same partition style. If any of you have the same partition style on your disks and don't need to convert your disks, then you can skip this part of the video and I'll show other users how to convert the second disk. To convert drive D to the partition style you need, I suggest using the free Minitool Partition Wizard 10 application, and although this application is used for disk cloning, you can easily convert the disk to the partition style you need with it. To download this application, open your browser and type in search. Minitool Partition Wizard Old Version. or open the description of my video, and follow the link to the app download page. I chose this version because it is now being given away for free on the manufacturer's official website due to being a little outdated, but this version is completely safe and its functions meet all the requirements for disk cloning. On this page, you need to go a little lower and select the version of the program, 10,0, click, here. And on this page, click, download. The program is small and will load fairly quickly. The browser can be closed. Open File Explorer, then the Downloads folder. And here you need to double click on the program icon. In this window we can read the terms of use of this version, it is really free, but only for home use. I agree to the terms of the license, next. Install. The program is installed on your computer, and to run it, click here. The Minitool Partition Wizard interface has opened, and here we will see our disks. The first disk I have is GPT. The second disk is MBR. To convert the second disk, you need to right-click on the disk, and choose to convert MBR to GPT. After that, click, Apply. Read the message and click, Yes. Okay. Now my second drive is GPT, and I hope your conversion went just as well. Close the application, and now we need to prepare the D drive for installing the second operating system. To do this, right click on the button, start, and select, disk management. In this window, you need to right click on the disk space and select, shrink volume. With this action, 
we will compress the data disk and allocate free space for the second operating system, thereby creating another disk on the D drive. In this window, you need to specify how many gigabytes to allocate for the second disk, I will indicate 100,000 megabytes, that is, 100 gigabytes, and this will be enough for the correct operation of any operating system, and my data on disk D will remain unchanged. Depending on the size of your D drive, you may want to allocate more or less space to help you use your computer. I press, shrink, and as a result I have another drive with about 100 gigabytes of unallocated space. And so, we have prepared disk D for installing a new operating system, and now you need to prepare a bootable USB flash drive with Windows, Ubuntu or some other system. I will create an installation flash drive and then using this flash drive I will install Windows 10 on the second disk. I insert the flash drive into the computer, and now I need to make sure that there are no necessary documents and files on the flash drive, since at the time the Windows flash drive is created, all data will be completely deleted. You should know that a flash drive for our purposes should be at least 8GB in size, and here we see that my flash drive is quite suitable. This step may take some time, and if you are installing Windows 10 on a laptop, connect it to a power source before starting the process. Now we move on to the next step, open the browser and in the search we write, download Windows 10 or open the video description and follow the link to the Windows 10 download page. The Microsoft page is opened, here we can familiarize ourselves with the rules for installing Windows 10. Now we will download a special application to the computer, a tool for creating a bootable USB flash drive, and for this we will click here. The application has been downloaded, and our browser can be closed. And so, let's open the Explorer and open the folder, Downloads. Double-click the icon and the application will launch. Here you must accept the terms of the license, Accept. In this window, I choose to create a bootable flash drive. Next. If you uncheck the box here, then in this window you can select any language for Windows 10. I leave English. Here you can choose Windows 10 32-bit and 64-bit. I choose Windows 10 64-bit. Next. In this window, we can download the Windows 10 ISO file to the computer, so that later we can create a bootable USB flash drive using another program. I choose to create a bootable Windows 10 flash drive using the media creation tool. Next. In this window, we see our USB flash drive for creating bootable media. I click, Next. And the creation of Windows 10 bootable media has begun. For a while you don't have to do anything and you can continue to work on the computer, or just relax and have a cup of tea or coffee. The process of creating a bootable Windows 10 flash drive is completed. Click, Finish. And now let's open this computer and look at the contents of the flash drive. Yes, all Windows 10 files are on the flash drive and now you can start installing Windows 10 on your computer. To do this, you need to restart your computer and call the boot menu. Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it could be, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive or DVD in the boot menu, press, enter. The Windows 10 installation menu opens, click, Next. Here we click, Install Now. Here click, I don't have an activation key, and proceed with the installation, Next. If you previously had Windows 11 or Windows 8 Home on your computer, select Windows 10 Home. If you had Windows Pro, select the new Windows Pro. This way you will keep your Microsoft license. Next. 
Here you need to agree to the terms of the license. Next. Here you need to select Windows installation. In this window, we need to select the disk where we will install the second operating system. Please note that in this window, the drives do not have the letters C and D, as we can see when we open this PC in Windows. Here my Windows 11 drive is numbered 0 and it consists of 4 partitions. Usually on the largest partition is drive C with personal files, here it is drive 0 partition 3, the other 3 small partitions contain system files that support Windows. Drive 1 partition 1 new volume, this is drive D, on which personal files are saved, drive 1 unallocated space, this is a new partition that I created in disk management and it is in this partition that you need to install the second operating system. To do this, click on this drive, and then click, next and the installation of the second operating system began. During the installation process, the computer will automatically restart several times. Please do not turn off your computer. The computer rebooted, and now we see that the system boot selection menu has appeared on the monitor screen. In this menu, using your keyboard, you need to select the desired operating system and press, enter. Now, every time you turn on your computer, you will have the choice of which operating system you want to boot this time. And so, all Windows 10 files have been downloaded, and now we need to do some settings. Here you have to select your region, yes. Now select Keyboard Layout, yes. Skip. I choose, for home use. Next. If you already have a Microsoft account, sign in or create a new account. If you click here, you can create a local account. I'll sign in with a Microsoft account. Next, here I will enter my account password. Next, now I will create a new PIN code. OK. Welcome to the new Windows 10. Left a little. Yes, I did it and now I have a brand new Windows 10 on my computer. Hope everything went well for you too. Now I will open, Settings. Here we can see that my Windows 10 is managed by a Microsoft account. Now I will open the Activation section, I click, Update and Security. Click on Activation. And here we can see that my new Windows 10 is being activated based on my digital license. Now I will show you my disks, and for this I will open, this computer. A new Windows 10 is installed on Drive C, Drive D, this is my Windows 11. I open Drive E, and here we see my personal files. The disk compression process that I did at the beginning of the video clip and the installation of the new Windows 10 did not affect my data in any way, and as a result, all personal files were saved on Drive E unchanged. And so, now I restart the computer to enter Windows 11. The menu for selecting operating systems has opened. Using the keyboard I switch to Windows 11 and press, Enter. In Windows 11, I open this PC. And here we see Drive C with Windows 11. Then Drive E with Windows 10. I open Drive D, new volume, and here we also see my data, they are completely preserved and completely unchanged. 
I am finishing my video tutorial and I hope what I just said can help you and if you found it helpful please share my video with someone. Thank you very much for watching my video. Good luck. Thank mm -hmm. you.